everyone, it's Christy, and I'm so excited to be doing another video for you with my favorite things. Today I'm going to be making a card using the new Birdie Brown set called Friends with Fins. I'll also be using the Birdie Brown set Gill Friends and Beach Buds. I think these all work so well together. So I've stamped my images out with black licorice hybrid ink on some Copic Friendly cardstock, since I'll be coloring with my Copic markers today. I'm going to start with my shark, and I wanted to do him a little bit non-traditional. Instead of going with grays, I'm going to do him in some aqua blues. The colors that I'm using are BG49, BG45, BG15, and BG11. So they are arranged from darkest to lightest, and that's the way that I'm coloring. I'm starting with that BG49 and laying in some shadows. I don't want too much of that, but I definitely want to have enough that it will add some nice contrast. So then I'm going to grab the BG45 and begin to blend that out especially since I'm going quite a big step down um, for, to the next two lighter shades. So I want to be sure that I have a nice blend and no harsh lines. Then I'll use the BG15 to pull that out even further, just making sure to leave enough room for that BG11 so I get a nice highlight. Now I chose to do the highlight coming in from the side so it's almost as if a diver or a submarine were there shining a light and that's going to be my light source. Um, if you wanted it to come from the sun it would go right on top but um, in my mind we are too far underneath the ocean here to um, have any light coming down and reflecting from the sun. I did also go over the entire shark with a second layer of those blue tones just to really um, get those colors to blend and have nice transitions since he is a bit of a larger image. I tend to like to do a double layer on larger images. For the white of his belly I'm using W00 and W1. I started with the W1 and added some shadows, especially on the underneath part of his belly and then a little bit right around the snout. And then I'm going to blend that out with the W00 into the white. Um, I'm going to add in the W3 and W5 to do my little clamshell. So I'm using the W5 in the corners where it's hinged together. That would be a little bit darker there, and then I'm accenting the little lines that are drawn by the artist. Then I'm going to blend over to the left with the W3, and then the W1, and then that last little bit will be the W00. Then just to add a little bit more color to that, I'm going to take my V91 and V95. So these are purples that are very gray toned, so it's going to add just that kind of um, reflective color that uh, seashells often have. For the inside of the shark's mouth I'm going to use R11, R12, and R22. So I started with the R22 up near his top teeth and also on the inside of the little clam there and on his hands and up above where the top shell would be casting a shadow. Then I'm going to pull that down with the R12 in the mouth and then to the left inside the clam and then I'll finish his little face with the R11. I'm going to keep the R22 and add in the R24 for the shark's tongue. I'm doing the darker color on the bottom and the lighter color on the top. And then for my sea grasses and plants I'm using YG05 YG07 and YG09. For the taller of this seagrass I'm using the YG09 and then that, that will also be my darkest on the little plant. Then the second one I'm using YG07. These are all so small that there's no point in blending. But then on the plant that will be my mid-tone and then I'll add a little YG05 to the tips of the sea plant. To add a little bit more contrast to the eyes and bring them back to life, I'm using a black gel pen on both the shark and the clam. And then I've got a white gel pen and I'm just going to go over the shark's teeth. Make sure that I don't have any color on those. And now I'll trim these out with the matching dies. 
For my background, I'm taking a piece of Bristol Smooth Surface cardstock and I'm going to sponge on some Distress Ink. The color that I'm using right now is Peacock Feathers and I'm going to add it a little bit more concentrated on the sides and toward the bottom of the piece and let that fade off into white at the top. Once I have the whole panel covered, I'm going to add a little bit of mowed lawn just toward the bottom. It's going to be my ocean floor, I'm just kind of imagining that there are some other little sea grasses there since I'm going to have the plants and it's just going to blend into that aqua blue and create a nice uh, kind of glow almost from the bottom. Once I have the intensity to the level that I'm happy with, I'm going to grab an acrylic block and spritz a little water onto that. Then I can take a paintbrush and flick that water off the side. That's going to give me a little bit of control and allow me to get some smaller size droplets. I'll blot that up with a paper towel and then repeat the process again until I'm happy with the way that it looks and I'll just continue blotting that up with a paper towel and then once I'm done I'll just set this aside until it's completely dry. I trimmed down a piece of cement gray cardstock to a standard size card so it's four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm cutting out a window using the A2 stitch rectangle stacks set two. I'm going to set that piece aside and I'm just going to be using the frame. I'm going to go back to my uh, focal panel now that it is dry and stamp on some fish from the Friends with Fins set in a navy blue ink. I'll set that aside and then I can stamp on my frame. And this time I'm going to heat emboss, so I'm going to treat that with a powder tool first just so I can eliminate any static cling. Then I'll stamp down my sentiment with Versafine Onyx Black ink, which is a black sticky ink that stays wet, so it works well for embossing. Once I have my sentiment in place, I'm going to coat that with some clear embossing powder. I did stamp that down twice to make sure I got a really good and clear impression. So once I have it coated with that embossing powder, I'm just going to tap off any excess from the back side and then I'll grab my heat tool and heat that up until the entire sentiment is melted and shiny black. I heated that from the back side as well to reduce any warping and then I'll pop my card base into my Misty as well so I can stamp on the inside. I always like to finish off my cards this way with a sentiment and an image or two just to bring some of the fun to the inside as well. And I'm using the dolphin and a cluster of fish and the sentiment that says high tide or low tide, I'm here for you. So my husband walked into my craft room at this point and distracted me and I didn't realize I hadn't hit record. So I just wanted to show you how I assembled the card. I just added the frame to the focal panel with some foam tape and then adhered that to my card base. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my images. So I've added more foam tape to the back of those. So they're all going to be popped up. And I'm starting with my shark since that's my largest image and my focal image. I want to get him exactly where I want him and then I can build my scene around him. So I'm going to add him between the two schools of fish so it almost looks like he's chasing that larger one. And then right below him I'm going to add the little sea plant. I've got those two stems of sea grasses or seaweed. I'm going to add one to the far right corner and then I can stick my clam down. I'm going to have him overlapping or uh, tucked underneath, sorry, the bottom edge of the frame. And then the smaller one I'm going to tuck behind him and it's going to make it look like it's actually even taller than the other one. And that is going to complete my card for today. There's another peek at the inside. I hope you guys enjoyed the June edition of Christy Gets Crafty with My Favorite Things. I think these sea-themed images are so fun and perfect for summer. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and you can always leave me a comment down below. I love to read your feedback. Subscribe to My Favorite Things for more inspiring videos just like these here on screen. Bye bye